Right, the checking out procedure is a bit uh, long winded here, isn't it? Yeah. You have to park up and go back and they work out your bill. And we got, I had to pay 12 euros because we had a washing machine and some other eco tax or something. But yeah, yeah marks yeah, out of 10 for this site? Uh, nine, I think. Nine, enjoyed it. Yeah. It's nice having a space on our own, wasn't it? It was, actually. Yeah. We seem to yeah. be on one of the smaller pitches. Yeah. Sort of a non awning pitch, I guess it was. So everyone else seemed to be on like super pitches. But we we had all the water and facilities with us. So yeah. It's good. And that was nice and quiet, wasn't it? Yeah. Good night's yeah. sleep. Yeah. We yeah. didn't see much of Luxembourg, I'm afraid. No. So um, yeah, well, we'll see you a bit as we drive back through. Yeah. And we're filming this on the Hero 5. I've decided to to risk it because it seems crazy to me. This is not it's not a dash cam. It's an action cam. We're not filming people, we're filming the journey. So we're going to give it a go on this. Yeah. We lost a bit of footage, didn't we, because of the handheld, because you can't always see what, what, you, what you're recording when you're going along. No, well, the trouble is that you, sometimes you don't know, that it's, you switch it on and you think it's recording, but actually you've switched, stopped it recording. Yeah. And I managed to record my knees, didn't I, when I thought I'd switched it off. Yeah. So. So we had it's about uh, 20, 20 minutes of knees, didn't we, really? <laughs> yeah. And us talking in the background. I didn't think it would make good viewing. No, no, so you cut that bit out, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, so uh, we'll catch a bit more footage today. Anything else about this site? Or yeah, well, the toilet. The toilet was fantastic, wasn't it? Oh, wonderful. <laughs> yeah. In your own little room with a hand base and your shower. Yeah. And even your own uh, mop. After 300 metres, bear right onto CR306. Right, yeah. so first thing is we drive through Luxembourg, we're looking for fuel, aren't we? Yeah, we, we've got uh, 91 kilometres left on the fuel. And so we, we need de to. Uh, desperately need some fuel. Yeah. And then we're off to Germany, from Rudersheim on... Am Rhein. Am Rhein, yeah. Yeah. So, see you in a bit. Yep. Three, four, six. There, there, right. straight across there. No. Oh. Don't think I want to go down there. Can you have a good luck? There's, there's nothing coming. Take the next right onto CR118. Just stopped to fill up. The fuel there was 113 a litre compared to 163 in France. Yeah, yeah. So that's half a euro less, isn't it? Yeah, 50 cents less. So it's 73 euros, wasn't it? After yeah. 300 metres, turn left onto N8. So it's definitely worth waiting. See a bit more of Luxembourg. Yeah, well, we wanted to, didn't we? Sorry? We wanted to. <laughs> oh, Route Barre. Right, it's another thing coming up. So, what we're heading for? Oh, it's good, yeah, technical warehouse. Don't want that. You've got to keep rides here. Right, we were having a bit of a night. 
nightmare trying to get out of Luxembourg. We were still in Luxembourg. Well, I know we're still in it, but at least we're heading towards Germany. We found, we found where we After are on the map. After 400 metres, yeah. turn back at the roundabout, taking the fourth exit. Yeah, there appeared to be two diversions. It looked like the A7 was closed, and then there was a cycle ride that closed one of the local roads. Uh, how on earth we managed to get here, I don't know. More luck than judgment, I think. Suddenly, oh, heading towards the A1 then. Yeah, the A1 is the Luxembourg Ring Road. Okay, so somehow we've found our way out of that. That was an absolute nightmare, really. I know. I don't know why. Why do roads close on this? I don't know. Someone has an accident. <laughs> at least, but, at least when we were near Nottingham, we had some idea where we were. Yeah, well, that's always the trouble, isn't it? If you're somewhere unfamiliar, yeah. you haven't got um, a sense of. You know, uh, <laughs> sense of location, I yeah, suppose. Yeah, well, I, I'm sure you, you need to be near Luxembourg and you need to be heading towards Trier. Trier. Okay. Because Trier it is the in entry into Germany. Right. I'm sure that's that's where we need to be. Okay. She's taking us to the A1, Trier. I think we're ever going to get to Germany at this rate. I think it's this. I think the A7 is actually closed and it's taken us off somewhere. So uh, back in the traffic jam we were trying to avoid about an hour ago. We've escaped the traffic jam, haven't we? And it's now 12 o'clock. Yeah. Spent two hours in, in a jam. I think we've come back the route we started going on in the first place. And uh, now we're sort of heading After north. After 300 metres, go over the roundabout taking the second exit. Heading, heading north to go south, aren't we? Yeah, because we can't get back on that road. Because the the diversion off the A7. Over the roundabout, taking the second exit. Diversion off the A7. Where are you going? Yeah. Was taking us back the way we came, so we couldn't go that way. Take the second exit onto N7. Heading for a place called Exenach. Which is near the border, isn't it? Which is near the German border. I think once we get into Germany, then we'll probably stop and Ingeldorf. And then we'll probably stop and try and reassess which way to go. Prepare to enter the roundabout after two kilometres. We're on the N10, aren't we? Going towards Ectenach. Ectenach, yeah. So I think the other side of some of this water yeah. is the German border. Okay. So it's good. I think we're going to enter Germany in a minute. Yeah. Prepare to keep right after 600 metres. Not the way we intended to come no. into Germany, <laughs> Home in the Bundes Republic. Well, we're um, just coming into Trier. Which is interesting. <laughs> I can't really tell you anything about it. <laughs> Could Google it, I suppose. Okay. Trier is a southwestern German city in the Moselle wine region near the Luxembourg border. Founded by the Romans, it contains several well-preserved Roman structures like the Porta Nigra Gate, the ruins of Roman baths, an amphitheatre, G 
just at uh, an amphitheatre just outside the centre and a stone bridge across the Moselle. Well, this is a traffic jam in Trier. Yeah. Is this the Moselle then? This is the Moselle, yeah. We've crossed this already, haven't we, the Moselle? Well, it's a the river, isn't it? Yeah. All through here, through Luxembourg, it's the main one. Yeah. Big barge going down there. And the other way. One of those river cruise uh, boats, isn't it? Mm. A nice little trip round Trier, didn't we? Yeah. Round the one way system of Trier. Yeah. Highly recommended. Right. Yeah. Okay, quite nice. A model of German efficiency. Yeah, yeah. That's Have a good team, don't they? Mm. Hmm? Yeah. Exit the highway onto A1. We are balanced for C. anything for the blooming trees. Quite a way down there. Yeah, well, quite a way up. I thought it was a bit more interesting in the roadworks anyway, but you can't see you can't see that the there's the, the Moselle trees, Valley down there. No, you still can't really see can you? No. with the truck as well, wouldn't it? Oh, which is as the um, roadworks end of yeah. the road. Yeah. At end of the road, turn left towards Mainz. <laughs> only going out truck, way again. Yeah. Yeah. Turn left. Right, where are we, Poppy? I have either. I had it a second ago, yeah. There we are. We've just gone past this place called Birk Birkenfeld. We're on the three 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 two seven. That's that one, isn't it? Yeah. Going up towards Moorbach. And then up here somewhere. And I have to change maps. So why is it you're always on the cusp of the map? So we're at Moorbach, we're up there, and I think we're going across here somewhere. Not sure which way, but we're heading there, Rudersheim, near Wiesbaden. It's been the journey from hell, really. <laughs> so, <laughs> that that jam in Luxembourg was unbelievable. It was like the whole of Luxembourg had come to this, to, come to a halt, yeah. and we struggled and struggled to find our way out of out of the place. And uh, it's sort of taken us all the way, I don't know, round the houses. Or through the houses. Well, up to the north of Luxembourg, isn't it? Take us up there and then back down again. Yeah. Because really, we wanted to just go down and across. Yeah. yeah. So we've gone all round the sort of the border of Germany, up down south of it, and finally in Germany. We've been through Trier, and uh, the roads here are up and down, up and down, up and down. So we're limited to 50 miles an hour. Uh, we get stuck behind the trucks going up the hills at 30 miles an hour because you can't see to overtake. So it has been a real trial of of a day. <laughs> you have to take the good with the smooth, I suppose. Good with the smooth, no, good with the bad. bad so yeah, yeah, this is uh, nice. definitely on the bad side. <laughs> ah, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Colour matches. Yeah, at least it's warm and hot. <laughs> <laughs> We're not Tinu having it either. Continue potatoes and macaroni and cheese, cheese and potatoes. Yeah, you know, eating up the uh, the uh, tins, aren't we? Yeah, we've got to draw the teams. Yeah. <laughs> Prepare to keep right after 800 metres. After 300 metres, keep right onto A61. Yeah, we're going towards local big Scharfen. Keep right. Uh -huh. Prepare to exit the highway at exit 30 after 3.5 miles. 
say 40 kilometers then. After 350 meters, go over the roundabout, taking the second exit onto L419. 40 meters, uh, kilometers, isn't it? as rude as hell. Turn right at the traffic light. turn up for the books isn't it we no idea where to go on a ferry um, not, that, not with anything against ferries, ferries but <laughs> just when it just said ferry what I think it's brought us in in the way obviously that we're the, on the other side of the river so we're gonna have a little ferry trip <laughs> assume this is our ferry coming in here I suppose it, it's a bit like uh, in Norway, you go everywhere by ferry, don't you? So. <laughs> Feel that um, music coming on, the Italian job. It looks like Italian job, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> a load of minis. <laughs> One's the colour that you've used. Yeah, it was our it? old Minnie's colour. Yeah, and you had a Mini Clubman, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Did, did we give her out way to that? I have no idea. They're all going to try and get in front of me, aren't they? Mary Ruse. I think that this journey has it all, really, doesn't it? <laughs> Is the other ferry? Whip, there we are. After 40 metres, leave the ferry, then bear right. Take a week out first, do we? Well, he's decided he's going in front of me, so after you then.
river cruises. They were a group, weren't they? here isn't it yes because it's got the yeah caravan thing yeah watch these many rocks Squeaking. So it's the first time I've had to use this little adapter thing. Oh, I also need my extension lead as well because the electricity is absolutely miles away. Well, we're here. We did need the extra cable that we brought with us, which is just as well. Yeah. We didn't need the adapter. No. It's an old bridge there. An old railway bridge. Tumbled down. Oh, you haven't got much of a turning circle there, has it? 
Good grief. See where the bridge went, can you? Yes, yeah. Over there. Couldn't quite read all of it, but I think it said that it was destroyed in 1945. Yeah. But it crossed the Rhine. So we're left with a ferry and uh, great big things like that clogging up the river. <laughs> <laughs> dry. It's been very dry here, hasn't it, by the looks mm. of it? Yeah. That must be the toilet block. You want to have a quick look? Oh, right. Dogs first. Empty the dogs first. Yeah, another toilet block. Yeah. Big barrel of something there. Wine press. I think there's a theme going there. Map of the town. And we're on the front, aren't we, somewhere? Right, that's it for today. Uh, the weather's turned a bit grey, um, but it was certainly, what did you call it? A challenging journey. A challenging journey. Was it? No, that wasn't <laughs> what you said. <laughs> what did you call it? You eventful. Call it? Eventful. Eventful journey, yeah. Yeah, from road closures to <laughs> for ferries we didn't expect to get on. Unexpected ferries. <laughs> that was it, wasn't it? <laughs> if then, and there's a bridge just here, isn't there? That, yeah. That was blown up in 1945. Yeah. yeah. So that being still being bridge. here, yeah. yeah. <laughs> across on that. We didn't up, expect that. No, we we, we, cut, we could have come across on the Hindenburg Bridge, but it was destroyed by the Germans in March 1945. <laughs> Stopped the advance of the Allies. So, so no chance again. Uh, no that. chance. No. So anyway, that's it for today. Um, I'm just yeah. I think we had a really simple tea, didn't we? Beans on toast is about all we could manage. <laughs> and a glass of wine. Yeah. Yeah. I'm about to edit this video. So I'm just going to do the ending bit. Everyone's binging and bonging <laughs> us. So if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. But remember to subscribe and hit the notifications icon for future updates. Uh, we're going to have a little walk into the town tomorrow, I think, by, by the sounds of it. And recover. And recover. Um, but yeah, it's been interesting. Definitely been interesting today. So see you later then. Yeah.